Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here. Very interesting uh, news broadcast from Ana News here. I'll give you just a little bit of the sound on this here. Uh, this is an up-close firefight inside of Aleppo that you are seeing right now. And uh, these brave men here are part of what is called the Lawa Al-Quds uh, uh, Brigade. It is a pro-government uh, brigade fighting the the U.S.-backed terrorist groups, the Al-Nusra, uh, Al-Qaeda, and of course uh, moderate rebels inside of uh, Syria here. We'll, we'll drop down the sound a little bit here so it's not too overbearing. But anyway, they're fighting there inside of eastern Aleppo trying to free the people there. And uh, of course the, uh, the, 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 the group here, Lawa al-Quds, they are a pro-government pro force, but they're made up from the Palestinian people, both Sunni and Christians, uh, make up this brigade. And I know this for a fact because I've actually seen some of their members wearing crosses. Uh, and, and this really just speaks volumes to me when you see that both Christians and Palestinians are working together to try to liberate uh, the Syria, Syria from these radical Islamic terrorists that are fighting against President Bashar al-Assad. Uh, and this is a very, very up-close uh, fight here that we're seeing. Uh, there's even women fighting in this battle. Again, once again, it speaks to uh, the Syrian government not being a regime, but a government of freedom, a government of tolerance, a government that, that you know, when we talk about the United States, freedom of religion, Syria is probably the only country inside of the Middle East that truly allows freedom of religion. The Christians, the Jews, uh, I know that we don't have, you know, from what we get reports in Israel now, we don't have any Jews anymore living in Syria. The last ones have been brought out. But, you know, up until uh, this Syria civil war five years ago, both Jews, Christians, Muslims, uh, Sunnis, Shiites, Druze, they all lived together in peace there. They, they were not at war with one another, and they settled their difference in a democratic way, and that's how they've done it. Now, the reason why Bashar al-Assad has stayed in power is because of the Christian community, 10%, the, the Kurdish community making up over 20%. Uh, 10% uh, of those are the Shiites, and of course you have the Druze and stuff, which gives him a little bit more of a majority. But what I find interesting, and I cannot prove this 100% on my own, but I, I'm just kind of looking at this, from, from, from an outside perspective, most of the refugees that fled Syria are your Sunni refugees that are part of those that are backed by the West, and they left to die the Christian community. We see very little evidence at all. Now, this we do know for a fact. Very little evidence that any of the Christian community was ever brought out of Syria whatsoever. Uh, they wanted to make sure that they kill off any support President Bashar al-Assad has. And so therefore, they made sure that the Syrian refugees left there. There's a, a lady here who gives you a good example of freedom. You know, she's if she if she wants to wear a burqa, she's well welcome to do so, but if she chooses to be free. She's probably a Christian woman, no doubt, or maybe even an Arabic lady. But I find it interesting that the one country that actually had freedom of religion gets targeted by the Obama regime. And this is just very sad. Of course, it's a deplorable situation, all in Aleppo to begin with. And the Swiss journalists that made the comment to President Bashar al-Assad, you have the power to make a change. You know, yes, you know what? So does President Barack Obama. He has the power as well. Stop funding the terrorists inside of Syria. Stop trying to overthrow this nation, and it would end as well. Because when you don't have anybody to back it, and again, by the way, again, once again, President Bashar al-Assad, he's extended a three-month period. All he's asking is the Syrian people that are fighting in the country, lay down your arms. Lay down your arms. This girl here was skint the top of her head. I don't know if it was a bullet or what, but I saw that earlier. Lay down your arms. They're willing to accept you back because they know that you went there under duress because the U.S. government is paying big wages to be able to get these people to fight against President Bashar al-Assad. It's a shame. It's a shame what's happening in this country. And to know that the Obama administration, and as well as the Clinton administration, will be doing the same, are backing this, these types of terrorists. 
I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Later today, guys, by the way, just to remind to let you know something here, we will be actually uh, covering the uh, are doing a Shabbat message. We are going to go back to offering a Shabbat message on Saturdays here uh, where we do uh, teachings as well. So those of you that listen to the news, we'll, it'll also be titled if you want to join. We'd love to have you. We have tens of thousands of people here that, uh, that are part of this. And so if you want to be a part of that, you're welcome to be a part of that. We'd love to have you uh, listen in and we will be uh, putting up again here the Shabbat messages, as well as on the Noon Institute, you can listen to it there. And uh, and we got many, many messages from people, emails as well, saying that for some reason they cannot donate on our website. Um, people that want to support the work we're doing. So if you if you do want to support this work, we know that we've been targeted. Uh, we were given an analysis the other day by a professional company about our website. We have been told we have been hacked. Our website has been targeted, as they said, it's been targeted by some people in extremely high-powered positions. Uh, he says we are targeted financially. They're trying to boycott us and just shut the ministry down where people cannot donate. Uh, our websites were what were targeted, both Israeli News Live and Israel Returns. Some people are able to still give, but many others are not. So we are actually including in the description of this news broadcast, and from now on, It'll be a direct link that goes directly to the PayPal account that we have with the Danoon Institute Ministry, where you can just copy and paste that into your URL, and then you'd be able to go straight there without going through the website. So thank you, though, for letting us know this, and we did have it looked at. Also, I have a computer here to my right as we powered it up yesterday to do the interview with Ivan. A uh, big, bold thing came across there. Your computer has been compromised. Uh, and it appears to be that uh, this has been infected to where they're monitored. And it says on there, you are being monitored by an outside source. So we know that we're up against some serious uh, threats, but we do need your help. We need your support and what we're doing. We're wanting to get also a, um, a little bit better setup for the audio when we have a, a guest such as Ivan that came in the the. Croatian uh, MP member. If you've not seen that video, it's the one just before this. I'll include a link to it. You really should take a look at it. We know they're suppressing the views on that as well uh, because generally, however many comments you have, generally reflects about 10% uh, or a little higher of those that are viewing. Over three, almost 400 comments. So we know that the video should have been about 40,000 on our channel alone and no doubt on the other channels that are out there. Uh, we know that News Channel uh, 48 as well, they probably have gotten a far more views than we do because they're not targeted like we are, but then we have it in the Polish, Czech language, it's all over in different languages that this video appears in. Um, so again, we're looking to try to find ways to be more creative, to get the broadcast out there, to look at the future of what we may run into in making DVDs. So we're looking at trying to get a 10 uh, or a 20 deck uh, duplicator to where we can make DVDs to, to be able to mail to you. I have gotten the emails. I have got over a thousand emails, friends. I have so many emails and it's very difficult for me to keep up alone. Uh, but we're working on these things and it does take your help in doing that. We thank you for that and thank you for emailing us, letting us know that you can't get through. So again, in the description, you have a link there that maybe that'll make it a little bit easier. God bless you and thank you for watching.